President Obama addressed the issue of American involvement in future wars today and the changing threat to this country. He spoke to the graduating cadets at the U.S. Military Academy, West Point. As one writer put it, he called for a muscular, if not militaristic, foreign policy for the near future. Our report on that tonight from NBC's Peter Alexander. They are the first class to graduate since the 9-11 attacks that may not be sent to Iraq and Afghanistan. At West Point today, President Obama argued for restraint before the U.S. commits to any future military action. Just because we have the best hammer does not mean that every problem is a nail. But today's speech also marked a public acknowledgement that Syria now offers a haven for extremists so dangerous it's drawn comparisons to the threat posed by Afghanistan before 9-11. As the Syrian civil war spills across borders, the capacity of battle-hardened extremist groups to come after us only increases. Senior counterintelligence officials tell NBC News this suicide bomb last Sunday was the first known attack carried out by an American citizen with ties to al-Qaeda since the start of the Syrian civil war. We now let Syria go so far down this path of violence and instability that there are absolutely no good choices and terrorism coming home to roost in the U.S. from Syria is a very real possibility. Today, Mr. Obama promised to increase support for the Syrian opposition and is now considering asking Congress to approve direct military training by U.S. forces. Still, President Obama said the number one threat to America is no longer confined within any country's borders. Instead, it comes from decentralized al-Qaeda affiliates and extremists. Underscoring the heroism of those who serve, President Obama honored Gavin White, who lost one of his legs in Afghanistan. Today, his sister Morgan will graduate. And true to his promise, Gavin will be there to stand and exchange salutes with her. It's really a moving moment this morning. Also today, President Obama announced that he is asking for $5 billion to fund a counterterrorism partnership to help countries in the Middle East and Africa, Brian, to carry out operations against extremists. Peter Alexander back at the White House for us tonight. Peter, thanks.